Yes, I see the triangle with Theta on the left. But at times my vision's blurry, cause all I can see is black death. Across from Theta, it's definitely the opposite. But my mind's flooded, it's like I'm into it, then out of it. I'm trying to think about survival and think about these equations. And oh yeah, the line at the bottom, that's the adjacent. The box makes an arrow and the arrow points to the hypotenuse. But it's like 2020 and excessive force is the new noose. The pain runs deep and it be messing with my sleep. And we just supposed to show up to class and do the work and not speak? Okay, I got it. So it's O over H. Square root of 3 over square root of 7. But hold up, wait. <laughs> See, I'm supposed to rationalize the bottom of this fraction. But I can't even rationalize why the cops took those actions and why we can't get some of these questions answered in class. <laughs> A man's dead and we still talking about broken glass? I, I gotta get back, I gotta take focus. Pop says stay focused, let me get back on this man. Let me get this done, y'all. I gotta do it for, for more than just me. I, I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna multiply radical seven on the top and the bottom. Radical 21 over seven. I think I'm done with this problem. I think I'm done with this problem. I'm not done with this problem. I had to like take a moment and step out of my box as a teacher and you know try to imagine to some extent what the, my students may go through or they may feel when they see these situations happen and they have to just return to school and it's business as usual and um, I know part of our job as educators is to teach them to succeed in spite of but I dare say at a time where so many of us know and believe that racism is not the way what role or what impact can we have as educators? And obviously I know that there are some amazing educators all across the country doing incredible things, but if racism is a systemic problem, then I think part of the solution should be systemic itself. That means we should be able to come together and why not systematically have a city, a state, or a whole country have things that we change within our curriculum or different classes that we add to the graduation requirement to begin to tackle the systematic problem of racism. I say let's bring that conversation to the forward. I don't have all the answers, but I know this is definitely one of the things that we need to be discussing.